Close your eyes and stay with your breath. If the mind has been wandering around, give it a chance to settle in. Because when the mind is wandering, it's in a position of weakness. It's when it's settled in that it's in a position of strength. You're grounded in the body, grounded in the present moment, grounded with a sense of well-being. When you're coming from the ground like this, then you're strong. They tell the story of when King Ashoka was still a prince, and he and his brothers came to see the king, who was his father. And all the brothers took high seats, and King Ashoka was, Prince Ashoka was left to sit on the ground. And then a royal astrologer came in and said, okay, the person sitting on the great seat, that's the one who's going to become the next king. So everybody looked at the one who was sitting in the highest of the prince's thrones. But Prince Ashoka realized, okay, the, the earth is greater than any throne. So he took heart from the, from the forecast, and sure enough, he became king. In the same way, when you're grounded in the present moment, that's your great throne. Other people may have a higher position in society, but if they're not grounded like this, it's very weak. So wherever you go, make sure that you're grounded, so you're not intimidated by anyone else, and that you're firm in your knowledge of what's right and what's wrong. When you're not feeling threatened, then it's a lot easier to deal with other people and not just lash, lash out at them, deal with them in a reasonable way. That your thoughts are grounded, your words are grounded, your deeds are grounded. So stay grounded right here. Remember, the breath is bigger than everything else around you. This breath element permeates everything. And so when you're here, You've got a good foundation. Don't let anybody else knock you off of that foundation. And John Cha's image is of living in a house where there's one seat. And so you're sitting in the seat. Other people come into the house, they have to stand. And when they're standing, then they have to do as you tell them. But if somebody else comes in and seizes the seat, okay, then you're left standing. Then you have to run around. If greed, aversion, and delusion come in, take over the seat. Then you're left to run around, doing their bidding, which is nothing what you want to be doing. You want to be coming from a position of stillness inside. That makes it a lot easier for discernment to be in charge. And that's when you can really be strong, in a way that's good. Because otherwise, when you're in a weak position, the strength of a weak person tends to be grasping and out of, out of proportion and can't last very long. But when you're grounded like this, okay, then your strength stays with you all the time.